Greetings, this is Daniel Persado for Adobe Photoshop CS6 Extended, and today we're looking at roughness. And you have, in my environment here, three spheres, they're all in the same layer, and one is at 0% roughness, one is at 25% roughness, one is at 75. And if you go to your 3D panel, you can just select the sphere materials on each one, or you can click on them, and they appear. As you can see, 75% for that one. Again, 25% on this one, and let's ray trace these to get a good look at what's happening here. It's a great effect, and if you have any Apple devices or you've seen them, you know that there's that aluminum roughness that a lot of those hardware configurations have, and it's a great effect, and it looks just really super um, when you're doing those kind of objects. And roughness, you can think about it as how much that surface will blur its reflections and highlights and that's what it's doing and it's a really beautiful effect. You could throw maps on there, you could play with the speculars and other highlights that we've talked about in other areas uh, are the videos. And I'll add this file up to my dramanon.deviantart.com uh, gallery, my Photoshop gallery there, so you can play with this file and see exactly what's going on. It's a great effect. If you have any comments, questions, um, leave them on this video. Thanks.